Having established the super portal as a threat in the opening vista, we decided it would make a useful landmark as the player traveled toward White Forest. In Half-Life 2 and Episode 1, we could count on the Citadel being visible in many of the maps, casting its shadow over the world. The Super Portal plays the same role in Episode 2, anchoring the player in a world while providing them with visual updates on the developing threat. The addition of beam effects and Portal Storm shockwaves help bring the portal to life and make it more than merely a static background element.